Hello and welcome to the Grand Line Review, your source for everything One Piece. Except for today, because we have rather rapidly reached a delightsome 17,000 subscribers, so it's time for more of your best channel comments. But before we do that, let's quickly discuss the bizarre title of this video, Best Channel Comments 16 to 17. To be entirely truthful, we reached 16,000 subscribers far faster than I was prepared for, and by the time I had something ready to go to celebrate that fact, we were almost at 17,000. So let's look at this special like a double issue of Weekly Shonen Jump, just as misleading with the title, and just as disappointing with the content. But regardless, here are your best channel comments. Enjoy! This time around, we are going to kick things off with Isabel Carmago, who would like to pose a theory on how to get into a best comment special. I wonder if I have to comment something with sexual or grammatically incorrect content to appear on your next best channel comments. And look, since you said the word sexual and grammatically incorrect, it would appear I have no choice but to feature you. Congratulations on breaking my algorithm. However, next up we have the ramblings of Simpleton S. Man. The fact that it would mean the world to me and my friends to get a new one is a great day. To be a good day, to be a little bit of a new one is a great day. To be a good day, to be a great day to be a good day. If I understand that correctly, Simpleton is having a rather good day, which is great. The fact that it's so good and new that is to make a good day great. And now here's Mr. Ditto who would like to propose a new series for the channel. Wild Wiener Wednesday. Thanks, I'll take it into consideration. Yeah. But for now, I believe that PC Gamer XE has a question. Didn't Roger had a crewmate Odin, brackets, Momo Mosk's dad, who could read and write the text on poneglyphs, and they literally were illiterates. Well, yes, you're entirely correct. The literally illiterate Kozuki Odin did indeed sail on Roger's ship, as well as had a son named Momo Momo Mosk. Thanks for that. That practically eliminates the need for me to ever do a One Piece 101 on him. But moving on to something far less helpful, we have Fafner the Dragon, who is proudly announcing, I'm arguing about the slip slip fruit. Ever heard of a glove sock shoes? So individually, I've heard of all of those words, but put together, they sound like a very confusing product that I'm not entirely sure I want. Although here we have Kyle Sanderson, who is entirely sure of what he wants. Can I have the one piece? And look, I don't see why not. And now I would like to present Mr. AJ Scent, who had an epiphany during my Syrup Village arc review. Usopp Ark, not bad. Usopp Ark is best. And that might seem like a fairly quick emotional shift, but then again we have people like HDDD who have these realizations mid-sentence. Sure, Hershey sucks, but not in a bad way. She's just weak as shit and useless, but she's nice and has a good heart. HDDD leaving me and I suspect even himself very confused there. So let's just move on to an eloquent comment from Chun Lung. Once I ate the shit shit no me from a toilet and nothing happened. Now Chun, what I will say is do not get discouraged. If you don't have any new powers, then it probably means that you just didn't eat the right fruit yet. If you keep going, I'm certain you will stumble upon the real shit shit no me one day in the future. And speaking of the future, here we have Naruto Uzumaki, who comes bearing a bleak prediction. When One Piece ends, your channel will die, lol. Oh uh, yeah? Well, when Naruto ends, then that means you will die. Oh, I, uh, my condolences to Naruto Uzumaki's friends and family. So let's awkwardly transition out of that and move to the punchline of the week, featuring special guest Egotistical Egg. And this week we are going to be using a prompt from the ever-inspiring Cards Against Humanity, to which Egotistical Egg will provide his answer. And that card is, Daddy, why is mommy crying? The sheer length of Dress Rosa! <laughs> Too real, egotistical egg. Too real. But now it's down to business. Last week you were all posed a very foolish and poorly chosen, by me, question to answer from a user of the Grand Line Review Discord server by the name of God Usopp. That question was, if Uso equals lie, does that mean I'm a lie? And well, Usopp, we appear to have our answers. Now, the majority of respondents can be summarized with the following comment from Malt Marcus. To answer the question, yes. Yes, he is. Which I guess is to be expected when you pose what is essentially a Discord in-joke as a question. But then again, that also means we can rely on Cagebot PX0, Usopp's best friend, to tell the truth on the matter. If Uso is lie and your name is Usopp, that means only your PP is a lie. Cagebot demonstrating his in-depth knowledge of God Usopp. And the harsh comments don't stop quite there because Ventilator lies firmly in the camp of the affirmative. Yes, Usopp that loser is a lie, but the great Soga King lives in our hearts forever. 
And finally, we are going to summarize this issue with a comment from Lightbites. Usopp isn't a lie, just a figment of Grand Line Review's imagination, just like us all. You see, Grand Line Review created the Discord server in a dream, and every time he comes online he is sleeping, and we are all there, talking in his dream. And now I'm just slightly depressed that this is the best my imagination could do. And with that, we are going to say we've answered this question fairly adequately, and move on to our next inquiry, which this time comes from Robin D. Joker. How did Frank feel when Robin twisted his balls? So there you have it. How did Frank G feel when Robin took a firm grasp of his man fruit? I'm not sure if I look forward to your answers or not, but I'll be reading them regardless. And that pretty much does it for this edition of the Best Channel Comments. If you enjoyed this video, then feel free to like, favorite, or subscribe. And if you are in any way keen on supporting independent creators, then also feel free to check out my Patreon, Discord server, or Twitter, links to which are in the handy description below. This has been the Grand Line Review, and I'll see you next time.